Yeah. It's good you can work these things. <laughs> like, I can't work them. Hiya guys, uh, Clive here. Um, I'm doing, uh, I've just done a little fishing match with a couple of the lads and uh, one guy in particular, um, probably a lot of people probably know him, uh, Jim Burton. Now Jim runs all these uh, prostate cancer matches and um, anyway, uh, quite successful as well. We just had one this last weekend which uh, we had to win. <laughs> which well good. actually it was an NHS match. Oh that was an yeah, yeah, that was an NHS, yeah, yeah. NHS match. Yeah. So tell me Jim, um, you were telling me that you live um, not far from Bewley, a place called... Um, Kings Norton in Birmingham. Kings Norton, okay, and uh, you've lived there all your life, have you? Not quite, no? you know, I'm, on and off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I bought up in Ladywood in Birmingham, back-to-back -back houses. Oh, right, okay. It's all yeah. up in the back end, sorry. <laughs> so yeah. when did you um, get into match fishing? And, um, well, when I was a nipper, actually. My, right. dad, my dad used to take me fishing, yeah, you know, yeah. as far as I can remember, back five years yeah, old, you know. Okay. used to go fishing, mm -hmm. and uh, I... I Anyway, um, I fished for the works team in, mm -hmm. when I was apprentice, Thomas Adden and Stokes, yeah. um, GKN, and we fished some quite big matches um, against Graham Wade's team, a lot of people know Graham. Okay. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 against Graham Wade's team, and he used yeah. to win anything, everything then. Did he really? Yeah, yeah he was good. He was, so, still a, he was still a cantankerous bugger then, actually. <laughs> Is he still around <laughs> now, or what? Oh yeah, Graham's no, still yeah, around, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. And um, so, where was that? That was all on the uh, 7, was it? But a lot of it was on the 7. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, uh, believe it or not, we had <laughs> two or three big matches at like Ironbridge yeah. and, okay. and, and further down Eckington as well mm. on the Avon. Mm. So these were these, this was in the late sixties when I was okay. I was apprentice <laughs> and young, <laughs> dark headed and handsome. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So I know where we were talking. Uh, we, we were talking about uh, yeah, you making fishing tackle boxes. Oh. What was the name of the company? Matchbox. Matchbox. That's right. Yeah, I remember them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, they were, I told you were quite big one. You at one stage. Well, we were reasonable. What happened when I came back from New Zealand? Yeah. Um, well, the, the, the stories mm. going on a bit. I, I, I was um, an engineer, so I, I got a job at Rover for. Okay. I don't know, I think I was there 20 years and mm. anyway, I took my redundancy and I bought Matchbox off Clint Elliott. Oh, Clint Elliott, that's right. That, now, Clint, that's Clint right. had been doing Matchbox for nine years. Right, okay. But obviously, he got the job down at mm. uh, White Acres yeah, as, as right, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, fisheries manager yeah. and uh, I bought the business. And you bought the business, okay. And then, yeah, because I remember you used to make like um, legs, uh, like like octopus too. That's right. But, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, in the old days, they, yeah. were, they were five eights, which is... Yeah. Yeah. 16 mil That's right, in yeah, the old yeah. days yeah. but um, yeah. Yeah, it was it was a learning yeah, curve for me to have my own business yeah. but I was putting all yeah. what I'd learnt in engineering yeah. into the boxes yeah. as well so what happened to the business yeah. right okay uh, right Matchbox Boss um, Kylie mm. and a few others were, were all made in the mm. UK yeah but then uh, the bigger companies started making them mm -hmm. abroad and to be truthful we couldn't compete on price so we couldn't compete on price so and as much as everybody you know we were trying to say boy British you know uh, money, money talk so I, I was to be truthful in 2003 I'd, I'd had it for a couple of three years I was about to knock it on the head you know just just pack up but I, I, I got a call off the Chinese Federation to go and help the Chinese national team to fish their first oh, world championship in 2003. You didn't know this, did you? Clark? No, oh, no. And I went, I went, and I went with a guy that you know well, Mickey Phil. Yeah, I know Mickey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's, he's passed, passed away. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so I went with Mick, and we. We travel around China and we coached the Chinese national team for their first world championship. And did they ever fish it? Twice. Yeah, okay. Did they? Two thousand and three. They, yeah. they, they, they. Oh, where was it now? I think it was. I know that in two thousand and four they fished at Belgium. Mm. In two thousand and three, I think it was Slovakia. No, did they do any good? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mine and Mick's coach, it must have been crap. <laughs> it must have been, it must have been. Oh, well, oh, that was, uh, that's good news. Uh, so, yeah, so as I said, uh, with the... Um uh, with your fishing, anyway, coming back to your fishing, yes. um, you've been involved, I think, in uh, quite a few um, uh, organisations of you, you know, fishing, and then and then you took it on your own back to do the prostate. Um, I did, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, in in, in the in the nineties, I was 
yeah. captain of the Clive Smith match yeah. group. Yeah. You know, and we we, we we did okay there. Yeah. You know, we won the Ivan Champs, Boy Champs. We won Clive. Did, did you against yeah. you lots? All oh, right, okay. Yeah. No mads in them days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. so I've always gone into organising. Mm. I did the Ivan Champs for quite a few individual Ivan Champs for quite a few years. Did you? Five hundred pegs from from Warwick to Fladbury. Did you? That took yeah. some organising. Yeah. Better did you? Yeah. <laughs> and I did the Birmingham Parks when the BA dropped it, but I only did it at at uh, Edgebaston. Okay. But anyway, I'm digressing there. Yeah. So um, when I had post when I got prostate cancer mm. and went through all the rigmarole mm. and getting my prostate out and, and, mm. and then there was issues afterwards and no, more okay. treatment and but I had no symptoms you see so this is really important so I'm glad yeah. you were yeah. having a chat today yeah, yeah, yeah. because you know I want to get over to guys mm. that, that you've got to go and get a prostate check now guys won't go for the uh, yeah we're all adults the finger up the arse although one of my mates goes every week but he's that way inclined oh, well. <laughs> so it, it, that's what they actually do though do they yeah yeah they do oh, but, but a lot of guys won't go no. so there's a blood test mm. anyway this is very quick. I went for my 60th whale man test and the doctor said, how are you, Jim? I said, top of the shop, nothing wrong. And we got chatting. I said, I have a couple of jars. Cheers. And, um, you know, I, and, and I got a tall as a bit of a night. He says, I'm sending you for a blood test. Unbeknownst to me, it was a PSI blood test. Okay. Um, two days later, he's called me and he said, I've got you down in the hospital, he said. Oh, down the hospital I went. Think, internal examination, biopsy. The next day they called me and they said you got aggressive cancer. Aggressive, no deal. You know, mm. so I'm, mm. you know yeah. that's not something you want to. Anyway, mm. yeah. this is almost not. Well, this is over nine years ago now. Mm. So I had my prostate out, and then there was there was mm. more problems. But anyway, I'm here now to tell the story. Yeah. Course, so I yeah. kept saying, guys, you've got to go and get this mm. PSA blood test. And I'm, they went to the doctors, and the doctors are reluctant to give this mm. test. Mm. Yeah. Because it's not a conclusive test. Mm. It's about 85%. Plus it costs 20 quid, which mm. they don't want to spend. Right? But anyway, so I, 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 I took a couple of my mates to... Um, um, I took a couple of my mates to a, 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 a Lions event that, that were doing prostate testing. And um, I, said, I said to the guy, and they'd done about two or three hundred guys, I says, um, and, and they closed the door, and I says, there's, there's about 50 left outside, he says, we, we've run out of kits, and this has cost us £5,000, and I, I says, why are you doing another one soon, aren't you, and he says, no, he says, we, we can't get that money, I says, you'll do one in six months' time, mm. I says, because I'll get the money, mm. and that's how we start. And that's the road, all right, okay, yeah. I, I, I know you've champ championed uh, it, uh, and yeah. I think, you know, you may probably save some people's lives as well, you know, actually, you know. But, yeah, uh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I hope anyway, so. No, that's, that's, um, that's great. Yeah. But anyway, mm. so the match is yeah. now, and mm. what we do, I ask a, an association mm. or a fishery mm. if they'll that, give, that, give that, the fishery that, up or the association yeah. their pegs for the day. Mm. So it's a normal match that we do, normal pools money, normal payouts. Mm. So, but, but I take the peg fee mm. and put that into the pot along with a raffle that I do on the day right. and that's how we raise the And that's money. how you make your money, okay. Yeah. Oh, there you are. So there you are, guys and gals. Um, you know, Jim's doing a great job and uh, if anyone wants to volunteer, you know, get, get in touch with Jim and, uh, you know, he'll organise uh, a match. Can I just yeah. say, yeah. at the moment, because we, use, we, we set up screenings for prostate, um, yeah. you know, blood tests, but we can't do it now. So there's home kits, that, that, okay. right? And there's 50% home kits. Look on my Facebook page and there's a code there and you can all get um, a home kit of 50% off and just prick your fingers, send it away and, you know, and you've all got to get it done because there's one in seven of you yeah. going to get post yeah, cancer. Yeah, I, know. I know you've mentioned this a few times. No, anyway, there are guys and girls. <laughs> anyway, cheers, guys. Cheers, <laughs> cheers mate. All the best.